Formula 4 away and racing. Looks like uh, Ethan Olin getting away to a, uh, a good start. Here comes Simon charging his way through the field. Kieran McGowan going with him. Oh, Kieran McGowan goes wide off the track but back on. And that allows the 62 biker David Wright just to slip up the inside there as they head their way down into gum trees. For the first time in Formula 4, a few of them start to bunch up just a little bit, but all uh, get through safely. They head their way down into Siberia. And it is Ethan Olden out there in the lead at the moment, really starting to uh, get on with it. Simon Dixon back there in second place. Looks like a little bit of movement going on there for third at the moment. There's a still a good battle going on out there, so we'll get to that as they get a little bit closer. Through the left-hander at seven, now they head their way down through Cops, and Ethan Olden has absolutely split them at the moment, really starting to get on with it as he fires his way down. He's uh, riding the VFR 400 and uh, doing a great job out there at the moment. So they head their way down through Kangaroo Corner now, make their way back up the hill through Chicane and onto the Pirelli front straight away. Ethan goes through. So Anthony Carroll up into second place there now, another one of the 400s. Simon Dixon and David Wright, Kieran McGowan and Lee Holmes all having a great battle. Oh, and who was that? Anthony Carroll's gone wide. So uh, that's uh, made it very close indeed. Kieran McGowan and Anthony Carroll side by side as they go down into gum trees. And Kieran holds on to it. Oh, big break and move there for Marina. And he might, somehow makes it. I think that was Lee Holmes on the, uh, the Kawasaki 400. Really uh, uh, a bit ambitious there, but... He, uh, he made it stick. Oh, and in this time, Kieran's gone down big time. He's okay, though. He's, he's up onto his feet. Bike cartwheels out of turn six. So it looks like he's okay. I don't think the bike will be, though. It's had a big, big tumble there. So uh, let's hope everything's okay. So he'll uh, wheel that out of the way. I don't think he'll uh, rejoin in that one. So it looks like Kieran down and out of that. So race leaders now onto the front straight away. Ethan Olden leads them through. And it's still uh, now Simon Dixon. Anthony Carroll there in third, David Wright, James Irvine, Gary Dixon and Lee Holmes. So the rest of them now fire their way under the bridge. And saying that, Kieran's got that bike going. They're tough little things, these, uh, these imports. So I'd say he'll make his way back to... Uh, the pits. But at the moment, Ethan Olden out there in the lead. Simon Dixon back there in second place. So they go through the left-hander at seven there. Make their way down through Cops. David Wright, Anthony Carroll still battling it out for that third place at the moment. Benjamin Stevens goes through. The new rider. Just having a look uh, from 5th back to 10th there. We've got James Irvine, Gary Dixon, Lee Holmes, James Parker, Mick Train. And rounding out the 10 is Michael Webb on the 777 bike. Fastest lap of the race so far. Simon Dixon, a 129.25. Well, Kieran's kept that thing going and uh, has rejoined the race. If it was me, I probably would have uh, parked that back in the pits and got ready for the next one. He's uh, way, way back in the back. Oh, I suppose in saying that, he could probably pick up a couple of points just for finishing there. 
back there in about 16th place or so. Rest of the riders fire their way up underneath the bridge now. Jared Purcell there oh, moving up into 10th place now. On the 181 bike. Sounds like we've got a bike down in turn nine. Could be the 42 bike of James Irvine. I'm just not sure on that one. We'll uh, no doubt see. Yeah, I'd see he's just starting to head off the uh, the timing board here. So quite possible that was James Irvine who's uh, down at turn nine. Fairly fast section of the circuit. I tell you what, Simon Dixon is really uh, catching up here. He's running around about just a bit over a second quicker than Ethan Olin at the moment with a couple of laps remaining in this one. He's about two, one and a half seconds behind it, so theoretically it's quite possible that they'll come across the line together. But um, no, Ethan Olin riding the 400. Simon Dixon, the little 250. Michael Rhodes just running a, a little bit deep under the bridge here using all the track. But uh, hangs on to it. So last lap board is out now, Ethan down the front straight away, still back there in second place, Simon Dixon. And so that'll be the way they'll uh, no doubt finish this one off, Anthony Carroll, David Wright, Gary Dixon there holding on to fifth place at the moment. Kieran McGowan just uh, toting around there. Mick Train currently sits back there in 7th place. Lee Holmes in 8th as they head their way under the bridge. Michael Carlson in there for ninth place, doing very well. So our race leaders now head their way down through the, uh, the far section. So the checker flag at the ready. Great ride there from Ethan Olden. Nice win there for him. Second place is, is uh, Simon Dixon. Anthony Carroll will finish up there in third place. David Wright in fourth. A good uh, finishing lap there for him. Fifth place coming through will be uh, Gary Dixon. Good finish there for him.